Assalamu alaikum. I'm Umar Chaudhary and uh, I will be your course instructor for Applied Marketing Strategies, MGT 681. So today I'm going to tell you about this course and what is it all about. Uh, today is the lecture one, so I will start with, um, first of all, the mode of communication. Hum kis tarah ek dousse se baat karenge, hamara mode of communication kya hoga, kis tarikhe se aap log mere se interact kar sakte hain. First thing first is, uh, uh, you can communicate with me through my email. So my email address is umar at vcomsats.edu.pk. The second mode of communication will be uh, my uh, virtual learning system, uh, which is VLE. VLE stands for Virtual Learning Environment. And you have been provided with uh, a virtual learning environment called LMS. So we log LMS get through uh, se interact kar uh, these two mediums will be used as a mode of communication and you know students uh, communication is always two way I would expect that you will dynamically or interactively this course ko, uh, pursue karenge, iske objectives ko pursue and the learning process ko dynamic you can uh, uh, email kar sakte जो मैंने ईमेल एड्रेस आपको बताया है इस ईमेल एड्रेस के थ्रू हम लोग जो काम करना चाहते हैं जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है ईमेल एड्रेस देने का वो ये है कि यू कम अप विद डिफरेंट क्वेरीज डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ दिस दिस कोर्स आप लोग रियलाइज करेंगे कि देयर आर डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स दैट यू विल कम अप विद uh, बहुत सारे इश्यूज uh, डेवलप होंगे तो उन इश्यूज को रिजॉल्व करने के लिए यू कैन सेंड मी एन ईमेल एंड आई विल मेक श्योर दैट आई रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट प्रॉपरली एंड टाइमली सेकंड वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वुड बी द वर्चुअल लर्निंग एनवायरनमेंट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एलएमएस एलएमएस में हम मॉडरेटेड डिस्कशन बोर्ड्स यूज करेंगे फॉर इंटरएक्टिविटी सो देयर आर टू वेज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वन इज you will send me your questions and I will respond to them. Now the second mode of communication is moderated discussion board whereby I will give you questions. May I ask questions um, on different topics? What are your opinions? You see, um, learning is uh, a process which cannot be done all alone. It is interactive and collective process. So us interactivity or collectivity uh, we have moderated discussion boards whereby um, I will pose questions. You can also do that as well and we will get responses from different students. So essentially what we are doing is that we discuss our queries or our problems in a public forum. Mein discuss karna since it is a passive medium whereby I am talking and you are listening to it, uh, what interactivity we have to create in a classroom environment. And that can be done on online moderated discussion boards. So essentially, as I said, two ways of communication, email and moderated discussion board. Now, before we go forward, uh, I would like to introduce myself formally um, before you uh, start learning from me, you should know my credentials as well at that I am the right person to teach you. Um, first of all, my experience. Well, um, I have worked as a um, researcher, consultant and academician in Pakistan and UK as well. Um, I have uh, been um, uh, working in research as well as sales marketing environment. So I have a very diverse experience. I have worked in academic research as well as um, sales departments uh, in, for example, Coca-Cola, Marks and Spencers, and um, different companies like that. So um, I have, I know the goods and bads of both worlds, uh, academic, which is uh, purely theoretical based and uh, the business environment which is practitioner based. So I have worked in both environments and I know the good, uh, goods and bads of both these uh, worlds. Um, 
I have also ta taught marketing courses as well as uh, other courses which are relevant to marketing. I have taught um, at national uh, universities and uh, international universities. Um, I have taught at postgraduate and graduate levels. I have uh, been teaching uh, contemporary courses like uh, uh, social media. Um, I've taught social media. I've also taught um, other courses which are very uh, traditional and very close to marketing like um, brand management, applied marketing strategies, marketing research. So I've taught these subjects as well. Um, I'm an active researcher. Currently I'm researching on three different aspects of marketing which uh, include social media, consumer behavior, and other stuff. Um, now my education. Um, I have six years of uh, specialist marketing um, education and training. So um, I have learned marketing quite a lot uh, and very qualified to teach you applied marketing strategies. I have a master's degree as well in marketing from Queen Mary of uh, Queen Mary University of London. Um, now my research interest. Um, well, uh, you will be asking this question, why he wants to tell us his research interests. Well, um, at um, graduate level and postgraduate level, um, people expect you to have some kind of research interests um, at PhD level. Uh, at undergrad level, it is not much relevant, but at higher degrees they will ask you uh, your research interest and in future if uh, you and I want to collaborate on any research topic then you should know my research interests. My research interests are um, probing into social media at psychological and social psychological level. I want to explore what is happening in the social media, how it is changing the world around you. Um, you have seen um, London Roids, you have seen Arab Spring, well, which is nicknamed as Facebook Revolution. So how the social media is changing the world around us, how it is impacting business, how it is changing the marketing, and our ideas of how products are marketing. So uh, this is a very contemporary, very new uh, subject, and I would I love to explore uh, the dynamics of social media. But I do it on psychological, individual psychological level, and social psychological levels, how um, s uh, people use these social mediums. For example, what do you do uh, when you log into your Facebook, Twitter, or Orkut account? So uh, I, I prefer to look into those. Um, as a person, well, uh, I'm imaginative, I'm curious, and um, to some extent, I would say I have a knack for research. Um, th now, let's, th everything boils down to what I am doing right now. What is my current assignment? Well, um, I returned from United Kingdom recently and at the moment I'm working as a um, lecturer at Comsats Institute of Information Technology Virtual Campus. That was about me. Now um, let's discuss the learning strategy and plan. How do I intend to teach you? How do I intend to tell you um, the subject ma applied marketing strategies mein aapko kis tarah se khana chahta hu aur kis tarah se khaunga aur lecture kis tarah chalega let's discuss that first uh sabse pehle um uh, we will have a review of previous lecture concepts and knowledge so sabse pehle main aapse discuss karunga kisi bhi lecture ko start karne se pehle ki isse pehle hum logon ko um हम लोगों ने क्या हम लोगों को पता होना चाहिए हम लोगों ने क्या सीखा है वट आर दोज कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर रेलिवेंट टू द पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई एम अबाउट टू डिलीवर होता इस तरह से है कि मार्केटिंग uh, जो है उसमें बहुत सारे ऐसे लेक्चर्स होंगे uh, जिसमें आपको प्रीवियस नॉलेज की ज़रूरत होगी सो वट आई विल डू इज़ आई विल मेक एन एफर्ट टू रिवाइज दोज की कॉन्सेप्ट um 
the purpose of revising these concepts is that um, this, as I said, this is a very passive medium. Or is medium ke ki passiveness ki wajah se, you can't tell me aapko kya samaj nahi hai ra, uh, konsi cheez ka aapko pata nahi hai. So I will step into your shoes um, and think as a student, kin cheezon ka aapko pata nahi ho sakta. And I will try to revise those concepts. Um, is course ko lene se pehle, you need to know that you uh, need to have a prior knowledge of uh, marketing. Uh, even then, um, there are few concepts over the period of time which are redundant in your memory or you tend to forget them. Uh, the concepts which keep on revising, they remember you. So, uh, those concepts and uh, those uh, 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 knowledge you have gathered, I will try to refresh them in your memory mein brush up and refresh karne ki koshish <coughs> और कुछ ऐसे कॉन्सेप्ट्स जो मुख्तलिफ सब्जेक्ट से बोर्ड हैं, फॉर एग्जांपल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी, सोशियोलॉजी, साइकोलॉजी, इकोनॉमिक्स, उनको भी मैं लेक्चर स्टार्ट करने से पहले उनको डिस्कस करूंगा आपके साथ। The reason is when I am talking to you about something, you know what I am talking about। हम लोग एक ही पेज पे हों, we all are at the same page। then we will discuss the agenda. Once you are done with the background knowledge, then we want to dis. Uh, then I will discuss the agenda of the lecture. Yani ke ham log is lecture se achieve kya karna chahte hain? Ham is lecture me kya jaane ki koshish kar rahe hain? Kya explore karne ki koshish kar rahe hain? What is the agenda of the lecture? So we will set a premise, a framework for. Um, for the lecture, I might not, I um, might not say it explicitly. Ekdam se me aap se bilkul explicitly ho sakta hai agenda discuss na karu. But I do that. I form an agenda for uh, for the lecture. Then uh, once the agenda is set, the premise is just set, the framework is defined. Then we delineate uh, the goals of the lecture. Yani ke hum is lecture me achieve kya karna chahte hain. What are the goals of this uh, very lecture? We will define it and and at the end we will try to cover these goals as well. Then what I will do is I will give you the lecture map. Lecture map is actually um, defining uh, the key topics that we are going to cover. Uh, there will be a difference in uh, goals and maps. Mein. गोल में हम ये डिफाइन करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि इस लेक्चर से हम अचीव क्या करेंगे और प्रेजेंटेशन में आप या लेक्चर में आप में हम ये डिफाइन करेंगे कि हम टॉपिक्स कौन से कवर करेंगे यानी उन गोल्स को अचीव करने के लिए हमें कौन से टॉपिक्स कवर करने होंगे and then we will start with the lecture proper. Lecture proper is whereby I give you all the information you need. Uh, about cer certain topics. So I will bombard your brains with the information I have and the knowledge I want to um, impart. So in um, this uh, section, I will discuss in detail mein topics. I will tell you about topics ke mein uske, uske different dynamics. I will dynamics aap se discuss dynamics. And then um, when I am done with the lecture proper, I will give you a review of what we have discussed uh, in that very lecture. So, I will tell you that in this lecture, we have discussed goals we have achieved or not. Or I will give you a review that we have this lecture. Uh, to lecture hoga for example if i am discussing something in lecture 2 and i think the discussion is going uh, way beyond the lecture 2 then i will tell you that we will discuss the same topic in lecture 3 as well so i will give you a review of what we have done and uh, what we um, want to do in the next lecture and the last thing is it's a very cheesy phrase point to ponder but um I like that word, uh, that line, or I will give you food for thought at the end of, not every lecture, 
बट इन सम लेक्चर्स मैं आपको ये बताने की कोशिश करूँगा कि ए, आ, ये कुछ चीज़ें हैं जिस पर आपको सोचना चाहिए इसके बारे में आपको देखना चाहिए कि हाउ थिंग्स आर वर्किंग अराउंड यू सो आई विल गिव यू फ्यू पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट यू टू थिंक अबाउट दैम आप उनके बारे में सोचिए उनके बारे में देखिए कि हाउ थिंग्स आर है सो आई विल गिव यू सम काइंड ऑफ फूड फॉर थाट एट द एंड ऑफ नॉट एवरी लेक्चर बट फ्यू लेक्चर्स एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू गो सेट आइडल एंड थिंक अबाउट दैम इट्स अ वेरी अर्स्टोटेलियन वे टू थीच वे बाय यू आर गिवन इट फूड फॉर थाट एंड यू आर आस टू थिंक अबाउट इट बट समाइम्स दे आर टॉपिक्स वे बाय आई वो गिव यू द गुड थिंग्स एंड द बैड थिंग्स द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिसाइड इट फॉर योर सेल्फ के कब क्या और किस तरह से Uh, आप लोगों को अपना डिसीजन बनाना है तो आई विल गिव यू एट द एंड ऑफ फ्यू लेक्चर सम पॉइंट्स ऑफ पॉइंट टू पॉइंट द नेक्स्ट थिंग आई वांटेड टू डिस्कस विद यू इज योर कोर्स असेंशियल्स सो दिस इज सम इंफॉर्मेशन आई वुड आई वांटेड टू शेयर विद यू दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यू शुड नो दीज निटीज of your course um so the course code is mgt681 the course title is applied marketing strategies um it's a three credit hour course with no practical work um you will have two lectures per week and the prerequisite of this course which means that you have to ha take this course before you take um or you should have the knowledge of this course before you take applied marketing strategies is uh, marketing theory and practice mgt 410 now the course overview before we start the course um i want to give you an overview of what we are going to do in this course so first thing uh, that i wanted to tell you is that this is a uh, an applied course um ye ek totally uh, applied course hai jisme what i want to do is i want to give you a uh, a platform to operationalize um the already accumulated knowledge main aap logon ko ek aisa platform dena chahta hu jisme aap logon ne jo knowledge already gain kar liya marketing ke bare mein aapne jo knowledge gain kiya from psychology from sociology from anthropology and different other sources because marketing is actually derivative of many different subjects so um what i want you to do is i want you to um gather that knowledge and transform that theory and that knowledge into application मैं चाहता हूँ कि आपका ये नॉलेज ऑपरेशनलाइज हो हैविंग नॉलेज इज वन थिंग बट यूजिंग दैट नॉलेज टू योर एडवांटेज इज एन अदर थिंग आई वॉन्ट यू आई नो दैट यू हैव गेन द नॉलेज ऑफ मार्केटिंग बट दिस कोर्स विल ऑपरेशनलाइज दैट नॉलेज सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेट फ्यू थिंग्स दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न बट वी विल see what is the application of that knowledge um i want to familiarize uh with a functional application of marketing you have learned the theories of marketing um you have learned uh why we do pricing why we do promotions uh but uh what is the functional aspect how we actually do it how we go in the market and actually see what is feasible what should be the our promotion strategy what should be our distribution strategy what how should we place our product how is uh the product um packaging will have effect on on the consumer um how do consumer take the packaging is it convenient for them so all these strategic questions um we will try to answer them and we will try to link the functional aspect of marketing with the larger business environment please do uh keep in mind that businesses don't operate in uh 
in vacuum business operate in the real world where people have allegiances uh, to particular religion they have cultural backgrounds they have uh, inclination to certain ideology of living they have gravitation for certain political ideas um, they work in certain social and economic environments so we do not operate and we do not market it, market um, stuff or product uh, in vacuum space may cheese any big thing so what we want to do is we want to learn these uh, dynamic environments and uh, trust me uh, these environments are con con Continuously in a flux. Uh, change or robust, especially because of these uh, this uh, hyper communication uh, in the current world. Uh change So hum log is dynamic environment may uh, functional market ko, ko dekhna or seekna cha uh, at the same time uh, hum wo jo hamara previous knowledge jiske bare mein hum main pehle bhi aap se baat kar chuka hu hum uske upar we want to build upon that uh, wo knowledge jo aapne psychology economic sociology or anthropology or different subjects jo aapne uh, isse pehle padhe hain hum usko we want to take it to the next level of understanding we want to link these sub subjects and we want to use it to our advantage hum log isko ek next level pe leke jana chahte hain ek nayi understanding develop karna chahte hain aur kyunki um, ye sare humanities ke subjects hain even mathematics and science jo aapne apne uh, undergrad mein padhi hai ya aapne apne previous semesters mein padhi hai ya aapne apne fsc ya uh, metric mein padhi hai we will take advantage of that knowledge and we will build upon this knowledge so the knowledge structures already exist karte hain we want to augment them we want to further um, link them and take advantage so um, you will be um, referring back to this lecture when you have completed the, this course and try to try to uh, analyze that have we covered what I said in this lecture. Um, so um, this course is, I would say, fashioned to um, to combine academic discourse with the philosophy of marketing practitioners. So traditionally, um, there has always been a divide in academic uh, knowledge and practitioners' knowledge. So what we want to do is we want to bridge the gap hum log uh, us gap ko kam karne ki aur ya at uh, at the very best khatam karne ki koshish karenge traditionally hua is tarah hai ki academic uh, practitioners uh, ya kehna chahiye uh, academicians they have a very different idea of how marketing works and practitioners people who are working in business environment have a very different idea of how marketing works uh, if you talk about sales if you talk about uh, marketing department of say mobile link they will have a very different idea of what marketing really is and a professor uh, a lecturer like me we tend to have a very theoretical idea of how marketing works so applied marketing strategies is a kind of course whereby uh, we try to bridge these gaps so uh, i will give you many um, different kinds of probes uh, which you will use to convert those theories into practical tools um, next i want to discuss with you the learning objectives what we hope to learn from this uh, this subject um, so first of all what we want to do is analyze and critique various marketing theories uh, and concepts in the real business world setting we want to see that the marketing theories that you have 
प्रीवियस कोर्स में पढ़ी हैं मार्केटिंग के कोर्सेज में बहुत सारी मार्केटिंग के मॉडल्स पढ़े होंगे मार्केटिंग की थ्यूरीज पढ़ी होंगी हाउ मार्केटिंग इज डन वट आर द थ्यूरीज ऑफ प्राइसिंग रैशनैलिटी की थ्यूरीज पढ़ी होंगी uh, हम उन थ्यूरीज uh, की रियल बिजनेस वर्ल्ड में और रियल बिजनेस सेटिंग में हम उसकी वैलिडिटी एंड एप्लीकेशन देखना चाहते हैं हम देखना चाहते हैं कि जो थ्यूरीज हमने पढ़ी हैं वो कितनी रेलिवेंट हैं uh, हमारे से हमें कितना सिखा सकती हैं और कितना हेल्प आउट कर सकती हैं तो हम इनकी एप्लीकेशन देखेंगे हम थ्योरेटिकल नॉलेज को डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे बल्कि उसकी एप्लीकेशन को डिस्कस करेंगे दिस कोर्स विल नॉट डिस्कस इन डिटेल दो थ्यूरीज बट द एप्लीकेशन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दो थ्यूरीज हम ऑपरेशनलाइज एंड इंटीग्रेट करेंगे मार्केटिंग मार्केट नॉलेज को और मार्केटिंग नॉलेज आई वुड से into a systematic market relevant to problem solving tools hum karna ye chahte hain ki jo hum logon ke paas marketing ka knowledge hai we want to make it into and convert into tools for example the idea of hammer is very good ek hathodi ka jo idea hai wo bada zabardast hai lekin unless or until यू टेक द आयरन उसको कन्वर्ट करें उसके हेड में एंड देन टेक सम वुड एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू इट्स हैंडल एंड कम्बाइन दम बोथ देन इट बिकम्स अ हैमर एंड देन इट बिकम्स अ टू सो हम ये करना करने की कोशिश करें कि जो मार्केटिंग आइडियाज है उसको सिस्टमेटिकली ऑपरेशनलाइज और फंक्शनल बनाना चाहते हैं ताकि वो मार्केटिंग टूल्स के तौर पे इस्तेमाल की जा सकें जिसको हम इस्तेमाल कर सकें इन रियल वर्ल्ड और ये कोशिश कर सकें कि मार्केटिंग कैसे की जाए और इन टूल्स को जैसे हैमर का आइडिया एंड क्रिएटिंग अ हैमर आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स सो हैविंग अ थ्यूरी एंड बिल्डिंग टूल्स अपॉन दो थ्यूरीज are two different things so we want to uh, use those theories and convert them into tools the next thing i want you to develop is that uh, critical faculties that you will use um to um decipher the current marketing problems i want you to have uh, the ability of problem solving and decision making and that can only be done if you are provided with um ऑपरेशनल नॉलेज ऑफ मार्केटिंग आपके पास वो नॉलेज हो अप्लाइड नॉलेज हो जिसमें आप uh, इस चीज़ को कन्वर्ट कर सकें इन और ऑपरेशनलाइज कर सकें एंड देन आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिवेल्प अप्रिसिएशन फॉर इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल इन्वायरमेंट एंड लिवरेज अपॉन द अपॉर्चुनिटीज ऑफ बिजनेस सेटिंग Now this is uh, something that I really wanted to discuss with you guys. Uh, after um, this course, uh, is course का मकसद ये है कि आपको मैं ये सिखा सकूँ कि आपको अपना इंटरनल इन्वायरमेंट कैसे असेस करना है आपके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में uh, कौन कौन सी एबिलिटीज़ हैं आपके पास आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में कौन कौन सी ऐसी चीज़ें हैं जि- जिसको आप यूज़ कर सकते हैं विच विल क्रिएट अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ फॉर यू एंड योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज वेल तो हम लोग ये देखना चाहते हैं कि इन इस एनवायरनमेंट में इस uh, सारे बिजनेस uh, सेटिंग में आपके पास कौन सी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ हैं विच आर इनहेरिटेड इन योर इंटरनल इन्वायरमेंट एंड देन what we want to do is we want to take it to the next level and we want to see our external environment as well whereby we see ke hamare external environment mein kaun si aisi cheeze hain jo hum uh, kaun se aise factors hain jo hum apni uh, advantage ke liye use kar sakte hain hum apne behtari ke liye istemal kar sakte hain to hum in dono ko side by side leke chalenge aur in dono ko dekhenge ke kaise इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल इन्वायरमेंट को हम असेस कर सकते हैं उसमें अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ को तलाश कर सकते हैं और उस त, उस अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ को अपने लिए कम्पेटिव एडवांटेज में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं अपने लिए फ़ायदेमंद बना सकते हैं तो हम इन दोनों को देखने की कोशिश करेंगे इन दोनों को समझने की कोशिश करेंगे एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस कोर्स द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज़ कि आप 
इस काबिल हो सकें कि अपने इंटरनल बिजनेस इंटरनल और बिजनेस एक्सटर्नल इन्वायरमेंट को एनालाइज कर सकें और समझ सकें द नेक्स्ट इज लर्निंग आउटकम्स जब आप इस कोर्स को सीख जाएंगे तो आपके अंदर क्या तब्दीली रूनमा होगी क्या तब्दीलियाँ वाक़ होंगी हम इसको भी देखना चाहते हैं हम इसको भी समझना चाहते हैं कि जब आप ये सब्जेक्ट पढ़ चुकेंगे तो आपके अंदर ऐसा क्या चेंज आएगा वट इज़ द एडवाटेज यूर मार्केटिंग स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड थिंक ऑफ वट वैल्यू विल इट विल दिस कोर्स पेंग टू आस इस कोर्स से हमें क्या वैल्यू मिलेगी um, सबसे पहले uh, जो चीज़ uh, आपके अंदर मैं डिवेल्प करना चाहता हूँ और आई एम श्योर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस कोर्स यू वेल डिवेल्प इज एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ करंट मार्केटिंग प्रैक्टिस आप वो एबिलिटी डिवेल्प कर कर सकेंगे कि करंट मार्केटिंग प्रैक्टिस क्या हैं बिजनेस वर्ल्ड में कौन सी चीज़ें हो रही हैं और कौन सी चीज़ें नहीं हो रही करंट मार्केटिंग प्रैक्टिस क्या हैं उनमें किस तरह चेंज आ रहा है हाउ आर दे इवॉल्विंग वट आर द रीजन दे आर चेंजिंग तो यू विल डिवेलप दिस आफ्टर दिस कोर्स then i want you to develop uh, critical thinking analytical skills uh, pertinent to current marketing issues aapke andar wo critical thinking like there there is a difference there is thinking and then there is critical thinking there is analysis and th then there is critical analysis i i want you to develop that critical analytical faculties and I am sure I will be able to do that. After the end of this course, you will have these skills. I want you to question everything, everything, even uh, everything I teach you. I want you to question them. Um, have have your own critique. There can, there is a difference between criticizing and critique. Criticizing is the for the sake of criticizing. Uh, it is. to um kisi ko neecha dikhane ke liye kisi ki tazleel karne ke liye lekin critic hona is different you try to identify what could be wrong with something what could um uh, be an impediment what could uh, create a hindrance hitch or glitch so aapke andar wo critical abilities develop karne ki koshish karunga ke um agar aapko marketing process डिफाइन कर रहे हैं तो यू शुड बी एबल टू क्रिटिकली एनालाइज दैट मार्केटिंग प्रोसेस अगर आप कोई डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्ट्रैटी बना रहे हैं तो यू शुड बी एबल टू क्रिटिकली एनालाइज कि कहाँ पर प्रॉब्लम आ सकता है कहाँ पर ये स्ट्रैटी फेल हो सकती है एन एनालिटिक्स एनालिटिकल स्किल एज वेल वे बाय यू कैन से यहाँ पर ये ये मसले आ सकते हैं और इसको एनालाइज करने के लिए यानी कि यू टेन टू एनालाइज इट एंड कम विद द सोल्यूशन और ऑल दिस पर्टेन टू मार्केटिंग इशूज द करंट मार्केटिंग इशूज देन वट आई वॉन्ट टू डू इज आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिवेल्प द एबिलिटी टू व्यू मार्केटिंग प्रॉब्लम इन देर थ्रोटिकल बैकग्राउंड एज वेल जब आप मार्केटिंग प्रॉब्लम को देखें तो at the end of this course you will be able to identify the theoretical premise of that particular problem and then identify the tools relevant kyunki humne pehle baat ki ki hum log karne ki koshish ye kar rahe hain ki hum log pehle theoretical background ko samajhne ki koshish karenge then what we want to do is we want to take it to the next level where hum na sirf थ्रेटिकल बैकग्राउंड को देखें बल्कि उससे टूल्स डिवेल्प करें आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डू इट इन रिवर्स एज वेल दैट मीन्स आप ना सिर्फ थ्यूरी से टूल्स की तरफ जा सकेंगे बल्कि एक स्पेसिफिक इशू से थ्यूरी की तरफ ट्रेवल कर सकेंगे एंड देन चूज द प्रोपियट टूल एज वेल at the same time i want you to develop uh, and i want to cultivate a um, multidimensional approach to solve a real marketing issue um ek hi problem ko mukhtalif tareeke se approach kare um ek hi problem ko mukhtalif zaviyon se dekhe you see agar aap ek picture 
या आप एक मग चार बंदों के बीच में रखते हैं और वो उस उनको कहें कि इसको ड्रॉ करें तो एवरी वन विल ड्रॉ द सेम मग लेकिन जब वो ड्रॉ करेंगे सिंस एवरी वन इज सिटिंग एट अ डिफरेंट एंगल फ्रॉम द मग दे विल ड्रॉ अ डिफरेंट पिक्चर मग एक है पिक्चर्स चार हैं इसी तरह प्रॉब्लम एक होता है सोल्यूशन चार पाँच छ एज मैनी एज यू लाइक सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिवेल्प दैट मल्टी डायमेंशनल अप्रोच जहाँ पर आप एक ही मार्केटिंग इशू को मल्टी डायमेंशन उसकी देख सकें मल्टीपल डायमेंशन देख सकें और उसको अंडरस्टैंड कर सकें एंड द वेरी लास्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिवेल्प इज अथोडिकल अप्रोच टू वर्ड्स प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग दैट मीन्स कि आप एक ही प्रॉब्लम को पीस डाउन कर सकें उसको छोटे छोटे टुकड़ों में डिवाइड करें और उसको स्टैंड अलोन हर टुकड़े को स्टैंड अलोन भी देखें एंड देन व्यू इट होलिस्टिकली एज वेल कि स्टैंड अलोन प्रॉब्लम क्या है उस उस प्रॉब्लम के उस प्रॉब्लम के जो आपने टुकड़े किए हैं हर पीस को आप एक अलग आइसोलेशन में देख सकें और उसको होलिस्टिकली यानी कि इन कनेक्शन टू एवरी अदर एस्पेक्ट उसको भी देख सकें सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिवेल्प अ मथोडिकल अप्रोच टू वर्ड्स अप्लाइड मार्केटिंग एंड मार्केटिंग इशूज next thing that i wanted to discuss is very important the assessment the mode of assessment main aap logo ko assess kaise karunga how will you get grades most of the students are interested ke unko grade kaise kiya jayega unke marks kaise aayenge uh, marks lene kaise hain so um i thought it is important and i wanted to discuss it with you guys um there will be four types of assessment in this course one is exams hum teen kisam ke exams uh, is course mein lenge uh, first session second session and then uh, your terminals sessionals uh, aapke one hour tests hote hain aap log ke se do sessionals liye ja jayenge there will be one hour tests one hour exam uh then there will be a terminal which is supposed to be a 3 hour exam or it is quite comprehensive uh exam bilkul isi tarah jaise aap apne metric and fsc mein 3 hour exams lete rahe then uh, we will have assignments and uh, then we have quizzes and graded discussion boards i will discuss uh everything uh in great detail uh in the next slide so um exams so exam account for 75% of your assessment yani ki aapke gpa ka is specific subject ke gpa ka 75% will be uh awarded to you through these exams um sessional 1 will be 10% and it will be a 1 hour test uh sessional 2 is 15% and it will also be a 1 hour test terminal exam will be 50% uh yani ki total grade ka 50% aapka terminal exam hai and it is going to be a very comprehensive and detailed uh exam or uh, this account uh, for 50% as i said and it is a 3 hour test so um 4 hours of exam and 75 percent of your assessment then your assignments let's just say assignments make 10% of your total grade um ye 10 percent aapka total grade hai but it will make a lot of difference you can achieve 75 percent uh but uh, the remaining 25 percent will determine that either you are winner or loser uh either you score good or you don't so in semester system uh you need to um fight for every gra- every um uh, grade uh, you will need to fight for every assignment every quiz so uske liye aapko mehnat karni padegi so assignment uh, uh, bahut chhota sa lagta hai ki it is only 10% but it will create the difference in your gpa 
सो so, um, मैं आपको इस कोर्स में तीन से चार असाइनमेंट्स दूंगा इस असाइन ये असाइनमेंट्स के डिफरेंट स्कोर्स होंगे फॉर एग्जांपल टेन मार्क्स की असाइनमेंट है ट्वेंटी मार्क्स की असाइनमेंट है थर्टी मार्क्स की असाइनमेंट है बट दे ऑल हैव इक्वल वेटेज दैट मींस के इनकी इनके स्कोर डिफरेंट हो सकते हैं टोटल मार्क्स डिफरेंट हो सकते हैं मतलब लेकिन इनकी वेटेज सेम होगी यानी कि इफ देर आर फोर असाइनमेंट एंड टोटल असाइनमेंट्स आर टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल ग्रेड तो हर असाइनमेंट टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट की होगी इनके एज आई सेट स्कोर डिफरेंट हो सकता है अच्छा असाइनमेंट्स जो हैं दे विल हैव सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस जिस तरह मैंने आपको बताया आई विल गिव यू पॉइंट टू पॉन्डर इसी तरह मैं आपको कुछ सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन तो दूंगा विच आर रेलिवेंट to uh, applied marketing strategies and you will have to come up with your uh, answers to it um they will be mostly uh, current marketing problems um but you can also be given an objective type assignment all assignment must be as i said completed uh, in stipulated time frame as defined by the lms so um aapka lms us assignment ko submit karane ka ek कट ऑफ डेट देता है यू मस्ट सबमिट द असाइनमेंट बिफोर द कट ऑफ डेट लेट असाइनमेंट्स विल नॉट बी एंटरटेन एंड आर नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल लेट असाइनमेंट्स के आपकी इसलिए एक्सेप्ट नहीं की जा सकती क्योंकि पीपल हु हैव मेड एफर्ट टू सबमिट दो असाइनमेंट्स इन टाइम उनके साथ ना इंसाफी है इट विल बी इन जस्टिस टू पीपल हु हैव made an effort to complete that assignment in um, in time uh, however if there are extenuating circumstances i can uh, look into that but for all reasons late assignments will not be acceptable next are the assignment guidelines um over the period of time i have seen the assignments that are being submitted uh, to different courses and we have delineated a few points uh jo hum log aap tak communicate karna chahte hain uh me and my colleagues as well uh ye wo guidelines hain jis jisko aap follow karenge so you will make your life easier uh our life easier and at the same time it will earn you better grades first thing is when you send in your assignment it is downloaded as a zip file um, all the assignments are downloaded as zip files so um usme identify karna bada mushkil hai ki kaun si assignment kis ki hai so at the very first page i want you to put your name this is common sense but uh since they were missing that's why i'm talking about these so at the very first page i want you to put your name registration number or registration id um and your course name course code uh, program semester and date of submission so you should uh, make an effort to make a title page um or put it on the first page um but do make an effort to supply this information is information say hame aapko grade karne mein aasani hogi and uh there are times when it is very difficult to identify ki ye assignment hai kiski so please make an effort to identify yourself and make yourself known uh at times uh when you are marking a paper then uh you get to know people who are doing good assignments who are doing good in quizzes so even if you lack at some point so we know that this student has been working and has uh done uh the due share of workload so हम लोग उसको कॉमोडेट कर सकते हैं सो मेक योर सेल्फ नोन मार्केट योर सेल्फ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू आर लर्निंग मार्केटिंग देन सबमिट योर असाइनमेंट इन वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर्मेट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू सबमिट दीज असाइनमेंट्स इन वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर्मेट एनी वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट is acceptable e- either it's uh, microsoft uh, office 
XP 2000, 2007, 2010, any uh, uh, Office, uh, Microsoft Office Word file is acceptable. But make an effort to s uh, send them in Word document file. Uh, please um, don't be tempted to send in other formats like PDFs and other word processing softwares. Um, we prefer to be, it to be crisp and we prefer it and we like our assignments to be in Word document format. Uh, okay. Then, once you're done with your assignment, uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to save the assignment uh, in a specific format. Uh, put your uh, registration number first, underscore um, your name. This will uh, allow us to quickly identify your assignment. So once you're done with your assignment, save it uh, with your re registration number and your name. Um, I will, when you will see these slides, you can see that uh, I have given an example here. If you look at the slides, I have also given an example here where um, I have put FA 12 MBA 196 and underscore my name Omar Chaudhry. So um, this helps um, to identify the assignments. Please do not put the name assignment one, final assignment, or or names like that. Everyone does that. Final version, final assignment, assignment one, assignment two. What happens is if there are two assignments uh, with the same name one gets deleted so you don't want that to happen so please make an effort to save it with your registration number and your name because these two are unique you can have um, same names but you cannot have same registration numbers so please do make an effort to save it with uh, your registration number and the name um, I want you to properly format your assignment. Uh, assignments are important. Uh, I have seen assignments which, uh, which have good material in them, but they are very sloppy. This says a lot about you. This says a lot about the effort you have put in. A sloppy assignment means have interest in you are not interested in doing something. Um, a well, uh, well structured, well defined, well formatted assignment means you are taking in trust. So please do make an effort to um, properly uh, format your assignment because a good formatted assignment earns you better grade. We, uh, it is easier for us to know what you are saying. Uh, is it is easier to interpret the information. Um, it is much more clear, much more structured, um, and definitely will earn you better grades. Um, at the same time, I would request you to use a consistent uh, font in your assignment, Times New Roman or something which is readable. Um, I have, uh, in my slides, I have given two examples. Use any one of them or whatever you like but it should be readable and at the same time it should give a formal look as well and <laughs> what I wanted to say is avoid over embellishments um, I've seen a sign just me bohut zada gulkari or phool bute bane hote please don't do that um, give it a serious look uh, a professional look uh, don't overdo it um, don't uh, over do with colors um, make it professional um, this will give you an idea how documents are prepared in the real business world now the grading criteria how do I grade the assignments and your written work uh, whether it is um, your exam whether it is your assignment how do I grade them uh, first thing is coherence and structure. Um, coherence and structure gives me an idea that you are clear about the ideas. Structure means that you clearly define what you are saying and how you're saying it. 
there should be a structure for example to a very basic bare minimum level you should have an introduction a body and a conclusion this is the minimum that you can do but uh, structures can be very sophisticated as well so uh, try to give your uh, your assignment your exam question a structure for that I would advise you to take a few minutes and plan about what you plan your thoughts and plan about what you want to write and then structure it according to uh, your ideas then there should be coherence for example one paragraph should lead to another paragraph um, it should not be apples and oranges uh, uh, I have seen um, exam questions where uh, people have um, written so much but nothing relevant and they have scored zero um, there is no coherence in what they are saying and it is not relevant so whatever you put into your assignment it should be clear to the point and it ha it must have coherence and consistency in it then clarity of ideas you should be very clear about what you want to say and how you want to say it so um, I want you to be very clear about your ideas ideas go up in clear currently for that I would suggest to make an make a mind map a mind map is a very simple thing whereby you have a central idea and you expand around that idea um, try to use mind maps and, or whatever makes it easier for you then strength of your argument आपका आर्गुमेंट कितना स्ट्रांग है आर्गुमेंट के लिए यानी कहने का मकसद यह कि जब आप बात कर रहे हैं तो कितनी मुदलल है किस कितनी उसमें दलील है तो आर्गुमेंट आपका कितना स्ट्रांग है दैट आल्सो अर्न्स यू बेटर ग्रेड्स देन आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ इश्यूज डू यू नो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग सो यू शुड बी एबल टू uh, identify the issue for that I would advise you to read the question um, if exam question is or or assignment question hai, give it time do teen dafa usko zarur padhe, and I try to identify the issue Pucha kya ja hai? kis baare mein baat ki ja rahi hai? kis problem ko discuss karne ke liye kaha ja hai? to try to identify the issues as well then um, you will be graded on comprehension of issues agar um, issue identify kar liya hai how he ha do does he have the comprehension usko samajhta hai uske bare mein soch sakta hai usko bayan kar sakta hai this is something that uh, you will be graded on as well then the academic rigor that is to say once you say something or when once you create something uh, either it be your assignment or uh, exam question to usme academic rigor kitna mat kehne ka maqsad ye ke how do you use the academic knowledge that you have already gained in different uh, different subjects usko aap use kaise karte hain usko utilize kaise karte hain for example can i see academic uh, jargon uh, subject related jargon in your um, in your essay, in your assignment, in your exam question. Yani ke, jab aap answer kar rahe hai, and uh, if I talk to you about, um, say, promotion mix, can you identify the specific related jargon to promotion mix? For example, if I ask you about the promo uh, uh, four Ps, can you uh, identify price, place, promotion, and so forth? If you can do that, that means your exam question has academic rigor as well so academic rigor is one of the criteria whereby I will try to judge you on how good your assignment and quizzes uh, uh, sorry exam questions are then the last thing is sources of your ideas that is very important um, ancient Greeks used to uh, 
identify or uh, relate to a particular piece of writing uh, through um, three testaments, ethos, logos, and pathos. And one of which means, uh, what is the source of idea? Who said it? So um, the source of idea, your ideas, should be, for example, books, uh, newspaper, journal articles, anywhere, but it should have authenticity uh, relevant to it. Um, for example, you cannot quote something which uh, you read it on, say, um, off, off the internet or on your social media account. So quote something which has relevancy and which has strength in its uh, source. Uh, it has authentication in its source. For example, you're quoting some figures from your Facebook account doesn't count. If you are uh, quoting something of a BBC or United Nations website, then it is acceptable. So uh, please make an effort to, uh, to put information from valid sources. Then um, plagiarism, a big issue. Uh, plagiarism is defined in many ways, but to put it simple, anything you copy from anyone, uh, it could be exact verbatim, or it could be an idea. If you don't identify the source, it is considered as plagiarism. To put it simple, very simply say, uh, saying, do not copy from internet. Uh, when internet so copy internet, we have very sophisticated software which is called Turnitin. All your assignments, we put it in Turnitin, and it takes about one minute to tell us from where you got uh, that material. So I would advise you to write it in your own words. Jobi kuch likhe, apne lafso mein likhe. Exact verbatim na If you're putting exact verbatim, identify the source. Put it in inverted commas and italicize it. Um, I'm not saying that you should not take help from the internet. Please do that. Uh, internet is a vital source of information. Uh, most of the studies are uh, now being done on internet and published on internet. Uh, our medium of communication is internet. So uh, internet is a very vital source. But what I want you to do is I want you to write it in your own words. Communicate your own ideas and supplement those ideas with something from the internet. And um, once you uh, once you develop this habit of writing from uh, from your own mind, uh, you will develop critical faculties like uh, um, creative writing, which is very important in uh, subjects like applied marketing strategies. Now let's come down to quizzes. We will also have three or four quizzes. A quizzes account for ten percent of your total assessment. Please bear in mind that quizzes might have different scores, like assignments, but they have equal weightage. Um, they, each quiz accounts for 2.5% of your total uh, grade if you are given four quizzes in total. So all the, these quizzes will be objective type. You will have MCQs and um, you have to complete them in specified time. So um, I will talk about the time uh, afterwards, but before that, I would like to tell you that quizzes will not be subjective. It is going to be computer-based, and um, you will have uh, multiple choice questions whereby you select an answer and then you move forward to the next question. Now, you have to complete your quiz in the defined time. Um, LMS will define the time kab se kab tak aap quiz apna complete kar sakte hain and then what you can uh, every quiz is also time barred that means once you start the session of quiz it will have some time to complete that quiz uh, you will have a session for example if there are 10 questions you might have 15 minutes to complete that quiz so please bear that in mind as well Graded discussion boards. Graded discussion boards uh, accounts for 5% of your total assessment. 
five percent of your total assessment means means nothing to you at the, the very start but it will create the difference um, in your GPA so a uh, graded discussion boards will be given to you from time to time um, we will try to give you as many as uh, graded discussions as possible so to create the environment where by not only your responses matter but it will earn you better grade as well so if you are understanding some subject if you have greater understanding you can discuss it share it with your peers as well as you earn grades for that as well so in graded discussion boards you will be um, graded based on uh, your ability to conceptualize topic I will give you a scenario I will give you a problem and you will have to respond to it so I will see if you can conceptualize the topic if you can understand the topic and respond to it employing the tools and techniques and skills that you have learned for that uh, specific uh, from that specific lecture or throughout the course so you will have to uh, respond to these uh, through graded uh, discussion boards um, this is uh, no uh, rocket science it will be simple topics simple questions uh, and you will have to answer those uh, those uh, questions now a brief outline uh, of what we are going to uh, cover in this uh, course so um, I have divided this course into six um, main areas first is review of the concepts so first thing we will do is I will revise the previous concepts other than uh, the concept which is relevant to particular lectures so the first few lectures we will try to revise what we have already learned then we will discuss uh, marketing ecology whereby we will discuss environment scanning techniques we will discuss uh, environment analysis uh, tools so what I want you to learn in this section is uh, how do you um, understand your marketing environment how do you do marketing scanning how do you analyze uh, the environment around you कहाँ पे आपके लिए अपॉर्चुनिटीज क्रिएट हो रही हैं कहाँ पे अपॉर्चुनिटीज खत्म हो रही हैं कहाँ पे आपको इन्वेस्ट करना है कहाँ पे आपको डाइवेस्ट करना है इन्वायरमेंट uh, चेंजेस कैसे आपको अफेक्ट करेंगे या आपके बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट को अफेक्ट करेंगे सो वील ट्राई टू लर्न ऑल अबाउट दैट एज वेल दैन स्ट्रैटी फॉर्मुलेशन वंस यू हैव डन वंस यू आर डन विद योर इन्वायरमेंट स्कैनिंग आपको पता चल गया आपके इन्वायरमेंट में हो क्या रहा है कैसे चेंज हो रहा है किस डायरेक्शन में जा रहा है क्या ट्रेंड्स हैं आपके इन्वायरमेंट में देन यू फॉर्मलाइज अ स्ट्रैटेजी एंड फॉर्मुलेट द स्ट्रैटेजी एज वेल सो उसमें हम लोग प्राइसिंग टेक्निक्स को देखेंगे प्रमोशन टेक्निक्स को देखेंगे डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्ट्रैटेजीज को देखेंगे एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट कि कैसे आप अपनी ओवरऑल मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी को डिवाइस करेंगे uh, और देन इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन द थर्ड फोर्थ सेक्शन वुड बी स्ट्रैटेजी इंप्लीमेंटेशन फिर हम ये देखेंगे कि जो आपने डिवाइस कर दिया स्ट्रैटेजी उसको इंप्लीमेंट कैसा करना है उसमें कहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम्स uh, आ सकते हैं कहाँ पे ग्लिच आ सकता है कौन से पोटेंशियल पेन पॉइंट्स हो सकते हैं कौन से पोटेंशियल ब्रेकडाउंस हो सकते हैं विल ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई देम एज वेल देन वी विल ट्राई टू रिव्यू द अप्लाइड स्ट्रैटीज एंड कंट्रोल इन द फिफ्थ सेक्शन व्हाट वी वांट टू डू इज वी वांट टू लर्न अबाउट द टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स दैट आर यूज फॉर फॉर स्ट्रैटी कंट्रोल हम अपने पैरामीटर्स um, डिफाइन करते हैं जब भी हम कोई स्ट्रैटी बनाते हैं जब भी कोई हम टूल्स ये टेक्निक्स अप्लाई करते हैं तो वी हैव आर कंट्रोल पैरामीटर्स एज वेल वे बाय अगर आप इन कंट्रोल पैरामीटर्स से बाहर चले जाएंगे तो आपकी स्ट्रैटी इज एट द ब्रेकिंग पॉइंट सो वी विल ट्राई टू एनालाइज के हम कैसे अपनी स्ट्रैटी को रिव्यू करते हैं कैसे 
ان میں کنٹرولز ڈیفائن کرتے ہیں ان کنٹرولز سے پھر ہم لوگ کیسے اپنے فیوچر اسٹریٹجی کو بنانے میں مدد حاصل کرتے ہیں کیسے اپنی فیوچر اسٹریٹجی کے بارے میں پلاننگ کرتے ہیں اور اس اس سے جو ایکسپیرینس گین کرتے ہیں اس کو کیسے کیپٹلائز کرتے ہیں اینڈ دین ان دا لاسٹ سیکشن وی ول ٹرائی ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دا نیو گلوبل پیراڈائم کیسے گلوبلائزیشن نے ہماری مارکیٹنگ اور اپلائڈ مارکیٹنگ اسٹریٹجیز کو چینج کیا ہے کیسے ان کو افیکٹ کیا ہے ہاؤ تھنگز آر چینجنگ سو دس از واٹ وی ول ڈسکس ان دا لاسٹ سیکشن ناؤ دا ٹیچنگ میتھڈالوجی میں آپ لوگوں کو یہ سب کچھ کیسے سکھاؤں گا سو آئی ول ہیو لیکچرس جیسا کہ ابھی میں کر رہا ہوں آپ سے بات وی ول ہیو لیکچرس I will give you readings as well. کچھ ایسی چیزیں ہوں گی جو I will send you through internet اور کچھ ایسے چیپٹرز ہوں گے which I will tell you to read from specific book. So um, you will have lecture, uh, you will have uh, proper readings for this as well. Then I will give you PowerPoint slides. PowerPoint slides کا مقصد یہ ہوگا کہ جو کچھ میں یہاں پہ بول رہا ہوں یا جو کچھ بات کروں یو ول یو کین ہیو دی سلائڈ ایز ویل ایز اے ریمائنڈر آف ول آئی سیڈ اینڈ ہاؤ آئی سیڈ اٹ دی سلائڈس آر ویژول کلوز فار می بٹ یو کین یوز دیم ایز ویل ٹو ریمائنڈ یور سیلف وٹ آئی ٹاک ٹو بیڈ دین ویژول میڈیا آئی ول بی یوزنگ ویژول میڈیا Uh, especially when I will be discussing promotional tools and I will be discussing uh, advertisement. So I will show you uh, videos uh, and advertisements as well and few other, um, uh, few other uh, videos as well which are not actually uh, advertisements but uh, something which is relevant. I will also uh, probably give you a few um, videos to watch at your leisure. Uh, I will not show them in lecture, but you can use them or you can watch them when you have time for them. They will augment the knowledge you have. I will be using case studies as well. Since this is an applied course, so we um, want to see that real life uh, problems کس طرح کریٹ ہوتے ہیں اور ان کا سلوشن کیسے کریٹ کیا جا سکتا ہے تو ہم آپ کو کچھ کیس اسٹڈیز بھی دیں گے اینڈ دا لاسٹ تھنگ از آن لائن ماڈریٹیڈ ڈسکشنز بسائز جی ڈی بی ہم ماڈریٹیڈ ڈسکشن بورڈس بھی دیکھیں گے ہم لوگ ماڈریٹیڈ ڈسکشن بورڈس کا اصل میں مقصد یہ ہے ان دس پیسو انوائرمنٹ آپ اپنے پیئر سے بات چیت نہیں کر سکتے آپ اپنے پیئر سے سیکھ نہیں سکتے بٹ وی وانٹ ٹو ریپلیکیٹ دیٹ ان دس آن لائن انوائرمنٹ ایز ویل سو ہم اس طرح کریں گے کہ ہم لوگ ایک ماڈریٹ ڈسکشن کریٹ کر دیں گے آن یور ایل ایم ایس اینڈ یو کین کمنٹ آن دیم یو کین لرن فرام یور پیئرز ایز ویل وہ ایک اسپیسیفک ٹاپک کے بارے میں کیا سوچتے ہیں ان کی کیا اپروچ ہے ہاؤ دے آر سینگ دس ٹاپک اسپیسیفک ٹاپک سو دس از واٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ان ان دا لیکچر اینڈ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی مائی ٹیچنگ میتھڈالوجی آئی تھنک دیٹ از مور دین این آف فار ٹو ڈائی تھینک یو ویری مچ فار لسننگ ٹو می آئی ہوپ ٹو کیچ یو ان دا نیکسٹ لیکچر سیم چینل but at your convenience. Goodbye for now and have a great day.